Hi guys. Um, you may have seen my faux dory in my previous videos. Um, this is made from a leather for craft A6 kit, and I ordered three more. So I'm going to be showing you. Um, <laughs> it's Chloe. Thank you, Chloe. Um, I'm going to be showing you what comes with them, and the way, and um, and then I'm going to be showing you how the kit works and how you put all the bits together and how you make it into a faux dory. Okay, so she's so pretty. I have to show you her. That's Chloe. She's helping. Hmm. I don't believe her. Um, okay, so let's open the packet. She may get in the picture, and I'm sorry if she does. I've tried to keep her away from the scissors, but she keeps on walking near them, so... Um, okay. She's a bit um, anxious at the moment because my other cat, Tilly, who is down there has been coming up to my room and they don't really like each other. Okay, so. Right, so. Um, my other ones, um, I've got the green and the pink. There's the pink. Um, they came with some samples, some leather samples. And um, I think the same basic stuff that they came with will be in here um, but with my first one um, they kindly sent me um, some lots of leather samples so that I could see the colours um, I don't know if if you can request that but um, I guess if you email them they'll let you know I'll put the link to the shop below um, in here I can feel there are the three notebooks so as I said, this is an A6 size kit, which is half A5 or a quarter A4. So they've made little notebooks to go in the um, in the Fodori Travellers journals, whatever you want to call them, and um, themselves. So they have the Leather Four Craft emblem there, and on the back they have the information. Uh, so there's three of them, they're really nice. They are blank, blank and blank. I was just seeing if any of them were lined or anything. Here is the leather. I ordered blue, which you can see there, uh, purple and what they call raspberry but is more like an orange than a pink. Because I think raspberry is more pink. Okay, so there's the blue, very nice there's the purple and there's the raspberry which definitely looks orange okay so that's the right way um, there are the colours there's my pink and my green. Okay, so you can see what the colours look like. Um, I hope this is good lighting. I think the raspberry is showing up a bit pinker on my camera than it does in real life. And the purple is showing up a bit bluer. Um, okay, so I'll show you close up of one of them. So, um, let's have a look. Now they come with it's it's um, so it's a rectangle of leather with the corners rounded, which is fantastic because I do find that difficult to do myself. Um, you get six holes in the top, six holes in the bottom, and a hole in the middle. That this hole is to thread the elastic through for the closure, and these six holes at the top and six holes at the bottom are to thread the strands through like this. So you get three individual strands and it comes with, it's a bit crinkled but it's good, um, threading instructions which um, demonstrate all sorts of things like um, how taut you need the leather, 
um, where to do the knots, um, how to thread the needle if you're struggling with that, and it comes with written instructions. The only trouble with these instructions is that it doesn't say that the uh, you have to repeat the instructions for each hole. Um, it makes it it only describes what you do on the first. My phone is ringing. Um, sorry about that. Um, it doesn't say um, what you do on the second and third holes, but you basically just repeat these instructions. Okay, so um, I'm just going to have a look inside here. Uh, these little packages contain the elastic. On the website, you get to choose which colour, <laughs> which colour leather, and then which colour elastic and they do supply lots of elastic which is great now this is the brown one and this little package contains a needle and this is what I, I love about this because when I first unwrapped <laughs> my first um, one of these kits I was reading the instructions and it said uh, thread the cord through the needle and I was like oh no I don't have a needle I don't think I I don't think I have a needle I don't think my mum has a needle that would be applicable because my cardboard was like that and then I turned the cardboard over and oh my god there's a needle and now I've got three of them and I think in these packets I've probably got another one for each of the leathers so I've got five so um that's great Chloe is currently standing with her tail in between the legs of the tripod and I'm trying to let her not hit it over. Don't work with animals. Okay. Yeah, let's just do purple and green for the demonstratory purposes. I might change it. This leather feels lovely. It's quite stiff, which is good because you don't want it to be too floppy because you don't want it to... Because what um, I feel like might happen would be these corners might come up and then if I don't realise it, they might get pressed in this might have a crease there or um, might get bent but this leather feels really nice and stiff and tough this one is a lot floppier so that one doesn't flop quite as much and this one is a very floppy but the way that I strengthen them and provide extra pockets is to put cardboard pockets inside so this means that this cover doesn't fold which means that it will be sturdier and last longer so let's do it with the purple um, so I chose the green didn't I I've moved everything and I've lost it there we go okay so um, using the instructions the leather the elastic the needle and I think that's all I need and I'm gonna have a pair of scissors just to cut the elastic a bit so I'm going to um, move over to my desk where we will do the demonstration of the elastic thank you okay so let's go ahead with putting the elastics into the leather um, I'm just having a look at the leather because it's good to work out what you want as the front and what you want as the back so often um, and I would say most people would do this I think you'd choose the back to be the more distressed side the side with possibly some scars or some stretch marks or some scratches and that looks like this side to me this side has a lighter stripe up it which could possibly be from the uh, leather having been folded or you know so not folded but sort of gone like that and this side I can see there are some marks on it that are like stretch marks so I'm going to choose this side as my front cover and this side as my back cover now I am doing this upside down so I apologize if it either looks strange or if I can't kind of um don't follow the instructions with the uh, one two up here and the three four down there because to me that's one two and that's three four okay so um this is my little box of Midori stuff. Um, it's got my elastics and my charms and a couple of other bits and bobs. So I'll get one of my needles from out of there. This is from one of my earlier kits. There's one. 
and from this box I shall choose which charm this um, Fodori will have on it um, which has to sort of suit the Fodori's personality and the leather colour and that kind of thing so it's a very important decision okay so uh, first step is to unthread the elastic of the cardboard it's very long I don't know quite how long it is uh, but it's got to be about a meter I reckon which is great because you can always use um, if you don't use it all which I think I've always had a little bit left you could even use it to um, be the elastic closure on another Fodori if you have one or Midori okay so first thing I'm going to do is thread the needle which it has got um, some um, instructions as to how to do this on the instruction sheet if you there we go okay three right so it says first take the piece of thread about 40 centimeters long so you can cut this down to the right length but to be honest I've always done it with the long I've never cut it down so it's, it, it's always worked um, place the leather with the inside facing up thread the cord through the needle one end of the thread goes down through hole one which is this one there we go there we go right and up through hole two I'm going to leave some of the elastic in the middle here but you can adjust it and up through hole two which is this top one here okay pull the thread through and the thread then goes down hole four which is this bottom one sorry if you can hear my dad singing and then up through hole three through hole three so each time you do this it creates one long elastic which is what holds the book in and the fact that you are not then going up to hole two means that you are only going down to hole three again saves you a lot of elastic so it's very well thought out very um, sort of they, they've obviously experimented and seen which is the best threading um, of the elastic to um, make it work so it doesn't say it on here but it should say um, repeat in reverse kind of thing because you're now going you've gone up through hole four you're now going back down hole three you're going to go back down hole four and up through hole one and then up through hole two so it does take a, a little bit of working out on your side but um, it's not difficult the, the hardest part I find is making sure that the elastics have got the right tension um, but that is sort of trial and error and you can adjust it as long as you don't cut the elastic too short at the end where you've made the knot you can always make it longer if necessary and then you can make it shorter if you need to so I'm now going down through hole two which makes the second long elastic which the middle book can go through and I'm also poking myself in the finger and then I'm going up through hole one in the middle and then I will go down through hole one on the right and try not to loop it into it so oh gosh I've made a knot I'll undo that there we go and then up through hole two and down through hole four and 
through hole three. And then you are supposed to take the elastic and poke it through this middle hole in the spine which is for the closure. But I don't like a spine closure, I like a back closure. So what I actually do now is poke a hole in the back and either thread this elastic through the hole in the back or I knot this here and then cut the elastic and thread it through as the closure elastic separately. So that's your choice, you can do that. Don't worry about you know the fact that you've modified the leather, that's your prerogative, you own this now so it doesn't matter. You could stamp your name if you have some leather stamps and um, you could even stamp your name with ink if you've got permanent ink or um, what I like to do is embossing powder and set that and it I don't think it will chip off. Um, so yeah, uh, so I'm just going to um, try to make the tension in the elastics right for the notebooks to go on. Okay, so one of the tricks to learning how to make your own faux dory or thread your own dory is to work out how tight the elastics need to be. The job of the elastics is to hold notebooks in. If the notebooks are sort of coming out of the notebook, the uh, the leather, um, that's because the elastics aren't tight enough and they need to be tightened. Um, so it may seem like they are too tight, but they do need to be like that because when they are pulled, they will then be the right um, tightness tautness to hold the books in. If you have them as loose as I've got them now, which makes the leather lay flat, they're not going to hold the books in properly. So this is my pink one, which doesn't have any notebooks in at the moment, which, as you can see, the, the elastics are pulling at the leather, so it isn't laying flat, so it's kind of... Um, rounded. That is how you need it to be. Oops, sorry about the... <laughs> I'll drop this on the desk. This diagram shows that, again, this is the leather, this is the thread, the uh, elastic, and it needs to be taut. So, basically, it's trial and error. If you don't already know how taut it needs to be, you need to get a notebook and test it out. The way you adjust them is to pull them and the fact that they are through six holes means that you have to do quite a bit of um, adjusting but you will eventually find a happy medium where they're all the right length. So it's just a case of testing it out and seeing what is the best length for them all. That's quite tight now, that's good, which makes this one seem very loose. So now I'm going to take the elastic there and pull it there. So now that one is very loose, I'm going to pull it out through where it goes through hole three. Easier said than done. <laughs> it's very tricky. Um, pull through where the elastic originated from. And now that's made that one too long. So I'm going to adjust it again. So just play around. Just try to um, make all of them equal. Um, tautness, make it sort of sit not flat like this, so it does bounce up, but make sure they're all taut. This is way too loose. This is quite a nice tautness. You can hear the sort of guitar string quality to it. That's what you want. Um, so, yeah, I'll come back when it's all done. There we go. I've um, tautened, if that's the right word, uh, the elastics. And they're all quite nice, nicely tight now. If we flatten it, it still goes flat. They don't, they're not too tight, but um, 
the leather is curved which is what you want so it's at quite a curve um, so I'm going to get the notebooks now this is where I need to work out what's my front and what's my back so that's my back that's my front and because I'm doing this upside down I've got to just work out yeah that way around so now it's just a case of finding the middle of the notebooks and putting them under here it is with all three notebooks in it um, now the elastics sit nicely the books stretch the elastics so that the leather should sit flat which it does which is great um, and it, the leather the uh, elastic shouldn't be too tight that they cut into the spine of the book so um, there's all three of them sitting there now I think it looks very nice so if I were to stretch the elastic around like it was a uh, closure which at the moment it isn't because I haven't um, I haven't cut the, the elastic there we go um, I think it looks very nice I love that you get to choose the elastic colour and the leather colour it makes it unique because there's not going to be many other people with the same colour as you um, I love that the corners come rounded the holes come punched um, I think that's that's great because it saves you a lot of time and um, I love the leather itself it takes wear very well but then it, again it does um, look nice when it's sort of a bit used and scratched and um, I think it accommodates the books very well it's cut generously um, so that it has quite a nice gap at the top and the bottom which means that you can put tabs at the top and the bottom it has a little bit with all these three notebooks in here which I think are true A6 size although I'm not 100% sure sorry my camera keeps slipping um, I think it would accommodate some side tabs um, my personal setup is um, quite chunky and one of the books sticks out quite a lot because I think it's a bit wider than A6 but I don't mind that um, but it does accommodate things well now this is A6 size but um, if you want a different size so like the standard Midori size or field notes or um, passport size or something like that you can contact Leather Forecraft and they can cut leather to a specific size you want and they'll quote your price how much the leather will cost at that size and I think if you ask they can um, round the corners for you although um, I would definitely ask about that and I don't know if that costs extra um, so effectively you could sort of ask if they can make a kit for you in a different size I know that they do the kits in Halloween leather in different sizes but um, just as the ready-made kits they just make them in this size but they have lots of different leathers you can choose from and they're really nice and I definitely recommend them so uh, there we go and if you want to see my um, kits in action my faux dories in action check out my um, couple of previous videos I've got at least one I think with the pink and then I've got two with the green leather and then um, in the future because I'm going to be switching between these Vodoris in a rotation um, I will have other setup videos in the forthcoming months where I switch between the different leathers so I don't know what colour I'll pick next but I'm sure it'll be one of my new ones so thank you for watching and I will make another video soon. Thank you. Bye.